So you're heading to Walt Disney World in Florida. What do you need to take in your park bag? And if you're flying from the UK on that long transatlantic flight, what should you take in that same bag for hand luggage, especially when traveling with kids? I'm Ree, welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. My husband, my three children and I are traveling to Walt Disney World in Florida very, very soon. And I've just packed everything that we're going to take on the plane. I'm gonna show you everything that we've got and everything then that we'll be taking into the parks because my children carry their own bags around the parks and people always say to me, Ree, what are they carrying in those bags? There's quite a few things actually that make our days go smoother. Now, as well for carry-on luggage, we are taking these actual carry-on cases, but all of that stuff is in my mega long come pack with me video, which is a separate video. We will get into all of the little suitcase stuff in that separate pack with me video. But for now, let's go and look at the little bags we're physically carrying on our backs to take on the plane and then into the parks. Let's start over here with the bags for my three children, then we'll head over to the stuff for myself and my husband. Now, the girls first have got very similar things. Each of them are taking a lounge fly and a Nuimo with a Nuimo little lounge fly as well. And they play with these endlessly when we go to the parks. There is also a little hack where you can attach a Nuimo who has kind of poseable arms and legs to a park bag using a hair tie so that these little dudes don't even take up any space in the bags. They're really fun for taking around the parks. You can purchase them in the parks. You can also purchase different outfits for them. My kids love them. So in fact, all three children are taking Nuimo, William's taking Groot, Bella's taking Belle, and Zara's taking Cinderella. The girls have both got these water bottles that we bought in Disneyland Paris. William has a chili bottle. Everything that's available to buy online, I will link in the accompanying blog post if you need to pick anything up. Now, water bottles are such a must for the parks, guys. There's plenty of places to fill up on water, and what would you rather spend your money on? Fun Disney things or water. I know where my cash is going. The girls have both got a pair of these Minnie Mouse sunglasses that they also wore on our last trip. William's chosen a pair of Mears Connect sunglasses, also from our last trip. And then Zara's got these over the head headphones. They are technically wireless, but I have included the wire too. I also really like these Velcro hook and loop wire tidies. I use these all the time when we're packing just to keep cables nice and tidy. So Zara's got those, which um, sometimes she also uses its ear defenders. The older two don't mind the inner ear headphones. They've both got those. I have not yet located and packed their devices. Although admittedly switches and things will probably go in one of these cases as they won't necessarily fit in their park bags and they definitely wouldn't take a switch into the parks, that's more like something to play with on the airplane. Then each of them are taking their autograph books, complete with a hair tie to attach a pen. It's also a really good way to hold the correct page open when you're due to meet a character. Each of them has got a clicky pen. I used to really love these as a kid, where you'd have lots of different pens in one. My kids love those and they've each got a different one. Bella and Zara have got a Munchling, a Minnie Mouse, and William has got one from Disneyland Paris last time we went. Not quite so many colors, but still pretty cool. And then for this trip, they've got something brand new and exciting, which is the Magical Trip Activities and Memories for Kids book. These books are very much like my Magical Trip Planners for Adults, but with all the boring grown-up bits taken out and replaced with activities for kids to do on the journey and while waiting around in the parks. So there's places for them to draw pictures, pictures of what they want to take, where they're going, to make bucket lists, either written or in drawings, depending on their age, of what they want to do. There's a spotting what's what in the airport. And then when they get to the parks, they've still got the planning pages that my kids have always liked and places to write the magical memories. Then way at the back, this is why they may not necessarily use their autograph books this trip. There's a space for them to draw pictures of the characters they're hoping to meet and then the characters can autograph below. So I've made those for my kids, but I've also made them available in my Magical Planner store, which will all be linked below. So as well as the Magical Trip Planners, the kids also have a little notebook each. I always buy these from Primark. They're a brilliant size and not too expensive. William's got Marvel. Bella's got Minnie and Daisy. And Zara's got Minnie Mouse. Then the girls have both got a little hairbrush each. 
And they've also got these that they call sleepy masks. Now my kids discovered sleepy masks on our last trip to Walt Disney World where Zara had a magazine in the airport with one of these sleepy masks on it and both of the girls have been totally hooked on them ever since. These are super special with a Disney princess print. William does not have a sleepy mask. However, he does want to take his Disney Locana cards. Sound off in the comments if you know about Locana, play Locana. I don't know anyone else that's even ever heard of it. It sounds really complicated. William is obsessed. Just talks about very little else actually. Um, anyway, he's taking some Locana cards. They're Disney, they look very lovely, but I still don't fully understand them. Each kid has got two of these little sickness bands, which are bands you put on your wrist. And the idea is if you're feeling a bit travel sick, you can press on the button and that presses on an acupressure point on your wrist. I don't know if they're a placebo or what, but we haven't had any trouble, so we're gonna be taking those. Then between the girls who like to do coloring, I've got this rollout set of pencils. Each of them has either got Vaseline or lip balm of their choosing. And then every family member has got a pack of tissues and a pack of wet wipes. On the back of the kids' bags, they've each got these slap bands, which are really good for attaching ears if you are wearing ears and you do not want to wear them and have a little rest from them. Then each child has also got an air tag on their bags. So if they're to put their bag down, we can see which direction that bag has gone in and track it from our phones. Also, while we're traveling, the children wear these air tags on their wrists. They know that only mummy and daddy are allowed to take these off, nobody else at all. And if they go missing, which, I mean, these are no substitution for keeping an eye on our kids, but if they go missing, we lose sight of them for a second, we can at least tell which direction they've gone in. I'm also packing in hand luggage our magic bands because the kids are gonna wear and wear these as soon as we arrive at our Walt Disney World Resort Hotel. And there's gonna be a big race to see who gets to unlock the hotel room door the first time. Then over to some stuff for myself and my husband. So we've also both got drink bottles. My husband is carrying this larger bag. So sometimes if we've got pack away Macs and things in the parks, I'll give those to him to carry. So he's got a larger drink bottle. I've got this smaller one. This time is a bit of a difference. I am taking this cross body bag, which can slot inside a bigger bag once we're done with passport control or whatever. But I'm just gonna wear literally across my chest to put our passports in when you've got to get your passports in and out, in and out so many times in the airport. But if we're allowed it only as, you know, one piece of luggage, that will slot inside a bigger bag. I am taking my Monzo card, which is the card I use for spending abroad. I mean, I started using it just for spending abroad, but now we use it in this country too. The reason I got it was to avoid foreign charges when spending abroad. So you don't have any currency conversion fees, but honestly, I really like it. Within my card, I've got separate pots set aside for the children so that I can allocate money for them, like pocket money, and they can spend it from there. It's a good way for saving for various things. It's got loads and loads of different features and I really, really like it. This is not an ad, but I have got a private referral link. If you open a Monzo card after your first spend, you get five pounds and I get five pounds. And if you open a business card, you get 50 pounds and I also get 50 pounds, full disclosure. I'm taking my AirPods so that I can listen to things on the plane and the rest of the journey. And of course I'm taking my magical trip and magical cruise planners. So the magical trip planner is for planning in the Disney parks. The magical cruise planner, unsurprisingly, is for planning your magical cruise because after Walt Disney World, we're heading on the Disney Wish. Now at the time of filming, they've not arrived, but I've designed some new magical cruise activities and memories for kids books because they were requested by some of you guys in the comments. At the time of filming, because I've only just designed them, they've not arrived from the printer, so I'm really hoping they arrive in time for our trip. So guys, keep everything crossed. Obviously we're taking passports, they're going in that bag. Very important for the passports. Hairbrush, I've got some makeup. Everything's in this clear bag and under 100 mil ready to go through customs. And I've also got this one, which is more kind of like skincare nail care, lip oil, that kind of thing for a long haul flight and also some SPF. So when we get into parks, I've always got SPF to top up on faces. I've also got small and easy to apply roll on sunscreen that will be added one to each bag once we get to Florida for our first day in the parks. But there's no point in putting that into hand luggage to travel because we're not gonna need sunscreen on the plane and because it's just something else to declare as a liquid. I've got this little pencil case full of 
paracetamol, medicines, Niophile, things like that. I've got all our travel documents in this little wallet. I know I've got everything stored on my phone, but I really like to have hard copies just in case technology fails us. I also have a sleepy mask. How much sleep I'm going to be allowed to have on the flight is another matter, but you can but hope. I have got this pencil case to put things like camera batteries in for carrying in my hand luggage. Obviously I need to add those close to the time when they've been charged. For charging my phone in the parks, it is one of these phones that's got the MagSafe and I like to have a pop socket on my phone. This one actually my husband bought me on our last trip, mainly because my phone is quite large. I've got quite a big phone and not massive hands. So it's good to have a pop socket, but then obviously for using MagSafe charging, it needs to come off. I really like this disc. So you attach the pop socket to the disc and then that can go on and off. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this, which I actually had for our last trip to Florida. It's been used many, many times. And you just attach it on the back like this. It clips on and then it charges your phone. Just like that super easy. It's also got the loop on the phone. So that loop means I can still hold my phone easily, even with the big bulky charger pack on it. But that's much easier than physically plugging my phone into charge. Having said that, I have got two battery packs. I think I've got a third one I will add in somewhere and I'll just distribute these among the bags that we're carrying. They just look like this. They've got three different ports so you can charge up to three different things at a time. And they're so good for keeping devices charged. For collecting any liquids under 100 ml, I have got these airport bags. And then here I will be adding some cereal bars and snacks just on the day to carry. I've got an expandable bag for putting coats and things in. I often take a few of these to the parks and quite often I attach them to the outsides of our bags with carabiners. I will be doing that again because that way if we go in wearing coats and it gets a bit hot, everyone wants to take off their coat, you've got somewhere to put your coat. I've also got an umbrella because Florida rain. I'll add another couple of umbrellas to the carry-on cases as well, if it's an especially rainy day, so a few of us can carry umbrellas. And my husband's also got a drink and headphones. So that's what's in our backpacks. If you want to know what's in our carry-on cases and the cases we're checking in too, click on the video on screen now. Or if you'd like to jump straight to the vlog series, that playlist is also on screen. And if you cannot wait for every Sunday at 8 a.m. when the new vlogs come out, there are early release vlogs in my Patreon. They're in there as soon as they're edited. No waiting at all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do those YouTube things, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.